Welcome back, YouTubers. Hey, this is Dave with Injection Molding Skills and more. Uh, today's video, we're going to be going over the basics of the injection molding press. So, open, close, fill time, pack and hold, uh, cooling time, recovery time. Um, a lot of people don't think about those things, so I wanted to go over just a short video of all this. Um, sorry, I haven't posted a video in a while. Um, I'm going to try to make sure that I post a video every week, at least one video every week going forward from now on, okay? Um, I got a video inside this video to show you guys of like the, the steps of the injection molding press, but I wanted to show you guys this. So here is the cycle. So mold closes, fill time, pack and hold, recovery and cooling time take up almost everything, guys. And then you got mold open, eject the part off, and then it does the same thing again. So it's a complete rotation, okay? That is your molding cycle. So this here is where you can gain cycle time, right here. Mold open and mold close too, if you, if you can close and open fast, or the distance of what you have. Like So if you don't open as far, and you can keep it close without damaging anything, that's ideal, okay? So try that and see how that does. Um, I want you to go and check out this, this video that I have on here and tell me what you guys think. Injection molding is the most common method of producing parts out of plastic material. The process involves injecting molten plastic at high pressure into a mold shaped in the form of a part. Once this plastic cools and solidifies, the mold opens and the part is ejected. Injection molding is an extremely versatile process that can produce parts with holes, springs, threads, hinges, and undercuts in a single operation. Injection molded parts can be simple or complex and can be solid, foamed, reinforced, or filled. They can be small, or large, thick, or thin, flexible, or rigid. Injection molded parts also lend themselves to endless decorative effects. They can be polished, textured, hot stamped, plated, colored, or clear. No other manufacturing process offers the range of capabilities injection molding provides. Injection molding machines range in size and complexity from desk size units up to machines the size of a small house. All injection molding machines are a combination of two systems, an injection system and a clamping system. The injection system heats the thermoplastic material to its appropriate viscosity or flowability and then forcefully injects it into the mold. There are two types of injection mechanisms, the reciprocating screw, which is the most common, and the two-stage screw. The main parts of the reciprocating screw injection system are the hopper, a reciprocating screw inside an externally heated injection barrel, a hydraulic motor, and an injection cylinder. Resin material is fed to the injection barrel from the hopper. These hoppers may be filled manually or vacuum fed automatically and often have dryers attached to the top to remove the moisture from the material. As the resin enters the injection barrel, it is driven forward by the rotation of the screw, which is powered by the hydraulic motor. The resin plasticizes or melts as the turning screw drags it towards the nozzle end. This is referred to as drag flow. Drag flow causes the polymer molecules to slide over each other, creating frictional heat, which melts the material. External heating bands provide additional heat to the injection barrel. The heating bands bring the material to its final temperature and compensate for the radiation heat loss. The temperature is controlled by three thermocouples in the barrel and one in the nozzle. The screw consists of three zones. The first zone, which is one half of the screw, is called the feed zone. It has a constant flight depth 
which forces the material together and rids it of air. The second zone, called the melt zone, has a decreasing flight depth, which reduces the plastic volume. This causes the plastic molecules to rub harder against each other, plasticizing the material. The melt zone leads to the third, or metering zone. The metering zone has a constant flight depth much smaller than that of the feed zone. This section acts as a pump. The tip of the screw has a one-way valve which lets the material flow only towards the nozzle end. The force of the plasticized material pushes the screw back as it turns. This builds a chamber of plastic in front of the screw. When enough material for the injection shot is melted, the screw stops and pulls back to decompress the material. For injecting the material, the one-way valve closes as the screw is hydraulically pushed forward by the injection cylinder. This sends the molten material through the injection unit's nozzle and into the injection mold. The primary speed and the injection pressure, called the packing pressure, is high, usually around 20,000 psi, but sometimes reaching up to 30,000 psi or higher. A secondary lower pressure is applied shortly after the initial injection. At the time of injection, the material's temperature ranges from approximately 320 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit, or 160 to 320 degrees Celsius. Once the plastic solidifies, no more pressure can be exerted upon it in the mold. The reciprocating screw then begins to rotate again, melting material for the next shot. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of a, the video that I had on there. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to get you guys a video every week going forward. Um, either it'll be a troubleshooting thing, a technique of either like flash, jetting, warping, burning, short shots, welds, surface defects, any kind of defect that you would have, or press settings like what what is, you know, we did one already on back pressure, but maybe do one on like what is first stage injection, what is second stage injection, what is pack and hold, um, just going over things like that. Um, you guys let me know what you guys think. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Um, till next time, please subscribe um like share do that for me it helps my channel peace